Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new Insider Preview build rolling out uh, to the Dev Channel Insiders, which Microsoft rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 19th of August. And the latest Dev build now is 26,120.1542, and that was made available with the update KB5041872. Now just focusing on two... Um, so-called improvements and new features. The first is currently in the stable version of Windows 11, as you may well know. The taskbar entry point for the widgets is the left-hand side of the taskbar. And if you head to your taskbar settings in the stable, and you head to taskbar behaviors, and you left align your taskbar, like it is currently in Windows 10, so you left align it in Windows 11, the widget entry point is here to the right, squashed away um, between your, you know, your uh, taskbar icons and then your search box. Now this is all set to change because there's now a new position for the widget entry point on left aligned taskbars that's been tested now in the dev channel. And this has been doing its rounds as I've been posting on uh, in the Insider program. And I'll leave a video I did post on this when it was in beta. Link down below and in the end screen if you would be interested. So if we head to um, one or two images provided, this is taken from the release notes for the um, latest dev channel build. Here we can see the taskbar entry point um, will move to the left of the system tray and will be wider so you can see richer content from your widgets on your taskbar according to Microsoft. So this is starting to look very similar to what we are seeing in Windows 10. And another kind of overlap here between Microsoft making Windows 10 and Windows 11 get a familiar kind of look and feel, as I have been posting. So very similar to what we get with the news and interests uh, for Windows 10. And when you launch the widget board, as I've posted previously, um, it'll fly out from the right side instead of the left, very similar to what we get over on Windows 10. So a bit of an overlap um, happening here when it comes to the widgets on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I did post a video yesterday in regards to how familiar the widgets boards are on Windows 10 and Windows 11 currently. And I'll also leave that link down below and in the end screen. So um, that's a bit of a new position for the widgets entry point on left aligned taskbars. That is now being tested in the dev channel and I don't see why that won't make its way into the stable version of um, Windows 11, possibly with the 24H2 feature update starting to roll out um, late next month. And then the next one has actually made its way into the stable version already. And um, I have posted on this, but just a quick recap, um, they've updated the taskbar to now support first letter navigation. So when uh, the keyboard focus is set to the taskbar using Win and T, so your Windows key and T, you can see down below there in my taskbar, you can now press a letter and it will jump to the open or pinned app whose name starts with that letter. So as an example, I'm going to just go to Firefox next door, press uh, F on my keyboard, and there we go, you get the idea. So and that's a bit of a keyboard shortcut improvement when it's... Um, the focus is set to the taskbar using Win and T, and that's already, as mentioned, made its way into stable. And then we've got a good couple of fixes rolling out um, for this week, because obviously it is still, still early days in the dev channel. And then we've got um, one or two known issues, because obviously these early preview builds um, are quite unstable, so obviously Microsoft has a bit of work to do there. But um, nonetheless, that's more or less what's new. Uh, in this week's latest Dev Channel Insider Preview Build, 26,120.1542. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.